Let's do an exponential function graph comparison. I would like to use three functions to explain this. Y equals to or f of x equals to 2 to the x in red, 3 to the x in blue, and 4 to the x in green. I also would like to explain what happened when you change the x to negative x. Let's explain the past x first. So the color coding is very important. So in red, you look at the 2 to the x. In blue, is 3 to the x. In green, that is 4 to the x. The way I memorize this is, I can make this even more easier for you. So for a bigger base, for a bigger base, just remember this, up fast, down fast. Let me explain what do I mean by this. So for a bigger base, so let's say which one has the bigger space, the 4 to the x, right? So the 4 to the x is in green. So if you take a look at the comparison, when x is equals to 0 0.5, do we agree that 4 to the x has the largest phi value? So when x for the bigger base, when x goes up, y goes up much faster. What about when x is negative? So when x is negative for 4 to the x, do we agree that we, when x is equals to negative 1, the green curve has the lowest y value when x is equals to negative 1? That's what do I mean by for a bigger base, up fast, down fast. So for, for compare three functions, find the one that has the bigger space. When x goes up, y goes up faster. When x goes down, y goes down faster. If you want to look at the more detail, I pick a number when x is equals to 2. So for x equals to 2, you plug it into the three functions. So 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 6, 4 squared is 8. So do we agree that when for the bigger space, base 4, we have the highest y value? Right, so y equals to a is the biggest. What about when x is decreasing, x goes to the negative direction. When x is negative two, so when x is negative two, you have to bring all the numbers down to a denominator. So two to the negative two is one fourth, three to the negative two, one over nine, and then four to the negative two is one over 16. Of course, 16 has the biggest denominator. If you do a one divided by 16, that gives you the smallest quotient. That's what do I mean by look at the bigger space. So they are asking you to graph three functions on the same window, right? or they are asking you to graph five functions in the same same window. Don't worry about it. Look at the bigger space. So for that bigger space, when x goes up, when x is positive, the y has the biggest y value. When x is negative, the, the function with the bigger base has the smallest y value. Once again, just pick the function that has the Bigger space, right? The bigger space value. When x is positive, that function has the largest y value. When x is negative, that function has the smallest y value. That's what do I mean by the big, bigger base? Go up fast, go down fast. How about negative? Negative x. So for negative x, same thing. For the two is in red, the three is in blue, the four is in green. So if you take a look at x equals to one, so when x is equals to one, what do you see? When x is equals to 1, the green curve has the lowest phi value, right? And then what about x equals to negative 0.5? When x is equals to negative 0.5, the green curve has the largest y value. So when x decreases, the y is the biggest. Y increases much faster. For the bigger base, when x increases to the positive direction, and then y decreases faster. Okay, so the same concept carries over to the to the expo exponential e to the x. But before we go into that, let's take a look at the plugin. So in here, I pick the same thing x equals to two. So we already have a negative power. So when x is equals to two, you have to bring everything to the denominator. So one fourth, and then one nine, and then one over sixteen. Of course, the one over sixteen has is has the smallest y value. That's why when x is positive, the green curve is on the bottom. That's what do I mean by this. What about x equals to negative? When x is equals to negative, we already have a negative right next to x in the original function. So when you set x equals to negative, the two negatives becomes positive. That's why we don't have fractions anymore. So in that case, 4, 9, and 16, 16 is the biggest. So that's why for negative exponent, when for the negative x, for the negative x functions, when x is negative, the green curve has the biggest y value. All right, so moving on to the e. So for the e, same, same thing. 
So the same concept carries over to E. So the one on the right, I have a past E to the X, 3 to the X, and 4 to the X. And of course, the color coding is very important. So let's take a look at the graph. So as X goes to past infinity, so this one I pick, uh, this is supposed to be X equals to 0 0.1, right? So when X is equals to 0 0.1, which curve has the largest value? The answer is the green curve, right? So the biggest base has, oh, sorry. This one is not the base are all the same. The base are in E. So in this one, you have to compare the exponents. So that's why bigger exponent, when X goes up, Y increase very fast. When X goes down, Y decrease very fast. When X is equal to negative 0 0.5, the green curve is on the bottom. All right. And then for the plugins in detail, I pick x equals to 2 for the green curve. You have 2 times 4 equals to a. So the e to the a is greater than the red function e to the 4. The way I got the 4 is 2 times 2 in the exponent. What about x equals to negative? Then you have to do a comparison when the numbers are in the denominator. 1 over e to the a compare that to 1 over e to the 4. Of course, the one with the bigger denominator is a smaller fraction. All right, and then how about the graph on the right? So the graph on the right, I wrote bigger exponent. When x goes to infinity, y decrease fast. So this one, when x is equals to 0.5, the green curve is on the bottom. And then when x is equals to, so this one, uh, I won't say a negative 0.2. So somewhere between negative 0.1 and negative 0.2, do you see that the green curve has the largest y value? So when x goes to negative infinity, the green curve, the one with a big, the biggest exponent, has the biggest y value. So for comparison in detail, when x is equals to 2 and negative 2, so for the positive 2, x equals to positive 2, oh, there is a there is a positive in the original function. So you have to take a 2 times negative 4 that is equals to negative 8. So 2 times negative 4 that equals to negative 8. You bring that down to the denominator versus 1 divided by e to the 4th. So for the e to the 4th that is in red, you plug in the green 2 to the red function. So negative 2 times 2 that is 4. Of course, 1 divided by a is smallest. So that's why when x is positive, the green curve is all the way on the bottom. What about when x is negative? When x is negative, you have the green curve e to the a versus e to the fourth. Of course, e to the a is bigger. So that's why when x is negative, the green curve is all the way on top. So that's the comparison of this exponential function. If you think my instruction is helpful, give me a like, share my video on any social media. If you are new to the channel, click the subscribe button before you leave. I will see you all in the next lesson. Signing out.